Okay, here's another tip on using Bluehost. And today I wanted to show you the control panel. And you can see up in the upper right corner it says control panel. You click on that. And usually it'll ask you to log in, but of course I'm always logged in, so it just brought me right in. Usually you'll have to put your username and password. Now inside the control panel here, you'll see there's all sorts of things you can do here, uh, ranging from some things you can do with partner sites, to promotional things, preferences, optimization tools, mail, files, logs, security, various domain items, databases, software, and advanced items for scripting and things of that nature. Now, the most important thing that you're going to want to look at is probably up in the email section, which is where you'll set up your email accounts. And the way you do that is by clicking on email accounts, and you'll see that all of my different emails that I have are in here for all my different sites. And what you can do is, if you want to create a new email, all you're going to do is type in whatever email you want. So in this case, we'll just say me. And you can choose whichever site you want to have the email from. In this case, I'll do my trybh.com website. Create a password, one, two, three, four, five, six and one, two, three, four, five, six. They don't match, but that's okay. All you do here is hit create account, and you'll soon have an email right in here that you can configure into your email program. And the way we do that is if you look at some of the emails that we've already created here, if you hit the more button, you'll see configure email client. Click on that, and you'll see it gives you all the information that you'll need to configure it into your email client. If you have a standard pop email or whatever type of email you have, all you'll have to do is follow the instructions here for your particular email. And this will give you all the information, including the username. The, and of course, you'll know the password. It won't list that here. And all the other information that you'll need to set up an email. And that's all it takes. That's all you need to do to create a new email. Again, with Bluehost, you have unlimited emails that you can do. So all you have to do is create as whatever you'd like. You can have them forwarded to each other. You can have a a catch-all email box so that anything at your domain.com will come to your particular uh, email address. All these great features and they're all part of the $6.95 price so check it out.